à fait. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna shot you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. <sighs> Tile uh, this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're a mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A <laughs> deal? Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. 
You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear, Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble. We should get moving. Looks like it's a little late for that. Deal's a deal. Let's go. Frenzy, those assholes are getting ideas. Let's see him explain this to Sal. Come on, you dipshits. Come get me. That's life in a quarry. Back in the day, we tried sticking on the wall. Out of here, you need to rig up explosives in a couple of spots I got round the quarry. No way I'm just walking away and leaving all this to Sal. That's a gun! You okay? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them, all of them. Wing! Yeah, come on, get, get around it! 
kids joining the party. I'm ducking down. Come on out, Enzo. To your mother. Send me a new ride. I'm in Barclay. I'm fucking blattered. Couldn't drive it. My life depended on it. Try me later. God damn. You like? No, I love. Get me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. Take it, please. <laughs> <laughs> Guess I'm retired. <laughs> Where am I dropping? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 
1942. No, 43. He must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. Smacks him a bit. Wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn blue streak. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla? <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her? She was passing through on her way to Hollywood. But it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla. The love of his life. God damn, I miss those days. Fucking Sam. You know Sammy was proud as hell of you, right? Not just for the wartime shit, but for the way you fought through life before you came to him. How you watched over Ellis, and how you helped with Perla when she was sick. He admired you, and don't you ever forget it. Fucking Sal ain't half the man Sammy was. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf. And in the end, my decision is final. Your decision? Listen here. You put my men on the front line and locking down the action, I consider your decision fucking made. Ain't nothing to discuss. That ain't exactly true. Cause doling out pieces of the city is a hell of a lot bigger deal than having a couple of meatheads lock down some action. All I'm saying. First time hearing of any action in this part of the city, which is fine, but it don't change my stance that this turf ought to come to me. You trusted me this far, Lankin. No sense changing course now. There's only one smart play here, partner. We got a long road ahead of us. Don't make the wrong first step, lad. What's the word, Lincoln? You and me, we have an understanding, right? You know I can handle this. All right, Vito. The turf is yours. By fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. You got a funny goddamn definition of loyalty. Maybe I'll keep that in mind next time you come calling, asking for help. As for me, I'll be biding my time and waiting for one of you assholes to fuck up. Fair warning. <laughs> We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. 
What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. <sighs> Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. You know, right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray painted, God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. Since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to are other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. You know, that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there. <laughs>